Hey, this is Chris again with Affiliate Tube, and I've been getting asked a lot lately how to make graphics for YouTube videos, how to make the thumbnails for the videos, and what I've been doing is a lot of research lately because I've been using Adobe Photoshop, which for those of you that use it know it's, it's quite an expensive program, and uh, honestly, that's the biggest reason why I use it is to make all of my graphics for my YouTube videos, Facebook profile, uh, banners, images, stuff for advertising. And so as I was researching and doing this, I found an amazing online tool that does the same thing for a fraction of the cost. And you can actually get a free account by following the link there on your screen. I also put it under the video. If you click on it, it'll take you to their website. You can sign up for free. And then what I'd done was I actually upgraded my account. It's $15 a month if you pay monthly or it's $10 a month if you pay annually and it gives you more options as to um, the types of uh, backgrounds that are included the images and stuff because there's over 40,000 images that come included with this and you can basically create any kind of image for any type of online profile uh, or media that you need and so what I want to do is just show you real quick here how it works and when you first sign into your account this is the page you're going to come to it says create a graphic you can either select a pre-made size for uh, the most common types of uh, media that you're going to create or you can create a custom one by entering your own width and height now for this example we're going to be creating a YouTube thumbnail but there's options to also create images for Twitter posts for Facebook uh, blog headers LinkedIn ebook covers as well as headers for Facebook Twitter and your YouTube channel art and some other ones down here or you can create display ads or banner ads uh, the most common sizes for those are here as well so what we're going to do is click on YouTube thumbnail and it's going to take us in here and show us a bunch of already created templates that we can use or we can use parts of and replace them uh, to create our own unique thumbnail and so I can scroll down through here and see all the ones that are available now when I had the free plan all of these will not be available some of these will be locked and you do have to upgrade in order to get access to a lot of these um, but there's quite a few of them and you can see they are very eye-catching they're very modern and um, they're very professional and so what I want to do is we're going to create one just as an example for um, right here the best virtual reality headsets so all I do is I click on the image and it's gonna take us here and I really don't like this background so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on background and remove background so that's gonna take that off and I actually like the white background it makes it really clean and when you're looking at a YouTube thumbnail um, you have to be very cautious how much stuff you have on it because it's only that fraction of a second when someone looks at it that they can see what it is to entice them to click on it and so I don't want it to be too busy with too much stuff on it so what I do want to make sure it does have is the best virtual reality headsets I want to make that um, bigger so where it can be seen easy so it's going to allow me to click on this text I can change it if I want or I can just come over here I can change the font size I can add my own fonts if I want but uh, for this I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little bit larger and we can drag the text and so we will leave it just like this and I do like the star image they have here I could actually come up here and duplicate it several times if I wanted to make five of them so it's like a five star product and we can put that here now from here there's a lot of stuff we can do we can go back to backgrounds if we want to and remember there's over 40,000 images included with this so you can just do a search here for what you're really looking for and most likely it's going to come up otherwise you're going to be scrolling forever uh, but you can see here some of the images and all you have to do is just click on one and it puts it in the background and so uh, I actually kind of like that concrete that that looks pretty neat um, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have a background I like the white clean so we're going to remove the background there's also patterns uh, you can upload your own images for your backgrounds if you want now I've already got an image here uh, for the virtual reality uh, goggles that I found here on Amazon that I want to use and so um, 
What I recommend though is when you're adding an image, if you're doing a banner similar to this here, and if you need it placed on the right hand side, the left hand side, is to not use it as a background image. Because the problem you're going to have is when you select the background image, it's going to fill the whole background up with this image and you can't move it. You can't you can resize it, but you really can't move it. So what you want to do is we're going to delete this. And instead, I'm going to go over here to graphics. And within the graphics, I can upload my own image. So I'm going to click on upload an image and we're going to choose virtual headset, open it. Okay, and now we can see this has been uploaded and I apparently didn't remove the background. Let me go back to backgrounds, remove background. Okay, go back to graphics. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this graphic that I just uploaded, click on it, and because it's a graphic and not a background, I can move it, I can uh, resize it, and also I can come up here and I can move it forward or backwards so I can hide this behind the blue. So you see right now it's on top of everything, but as I click the move layer back, it's gonna send it backwards underneath the other layers until it's completely underneath all of them, and then I can move it, and that is perfect. So now we have a really nice looking thumbnail. They can see exactly right off, it is a virtual reality headset. They can see the best virtual reality headsets written here, so they know exactly what this is gonna be. So I wanna resize this image and just make it a little bigger, fill up more of an area here and I can resize the image so I can see more of it by dropping or by resizing this bar on the bottom or I can just click fit and you can see the actual size of what it's supposed to be. Okay so now we have the text, we have our little image here, we have um, our image here of the virtual reality headset and there's a lot more stuff we can do. We can go to effects and if you have a background selected it will allow you to add additional effects to that background uh, since we don't have one, we can't use this yet. For text, you can add headings, subheadings, you can add body text, and you can change it all. I can go here, and like um, we just showed you a little bit ago, you can add your own font, you can change the letter spacing, the height, you can add shadows, and change the opacity of the text. Uh, the graphics, if you choose on graphics, they have their own selection. They have a lot of different graphics here. I do like the ones they have for YouTube. Click on those. And what we can do if we want, we can get rid of the star and we can use the red kind of stands out, but I like this one too. So just put that over here. And actually, I don't like that. They don't look too good on the blue. So we'll go back and just use the red one and put that under here just to kind of make it stand out a little more. And then there's also shapes. You can make your own shapes. And when you use the shapes, you can fill in your own collar. So if I click on this star and just put it up here and resize it, we could put one here and we can duplicate it and we can put one here if we want. And we can come over here and if we want to, we can fill it with a different color such as orange and fill this one with orange too or yellow, whatever color that is. And so that there really looks nice and let's move it over a little more and honestly I like this better than I do Photoshop um, just because it's it's easier it's more simplified and all the graphics are here already for me to use I don't have to go digging for them other than the product image itself and uh, you can undo so if you if you move forward you make some steps that you didn't like you can click undo and go back you can resize it you can name it you can view a grid to kind of get uh, more pre more precision, accuracy of laying out your, your image, how you want it set. Uh, you can save it and when you save it, it's, it's going to uh, ask you where you want to save it at. Because you can create folders and have your items saved in different places. So I want this one saved as in the Amazon reviews. Click save and it is now saved. And so I can share the image here if I want. I can download it right now and when I download it I can choose for it to be a web optimized JPEG, high res uh, ping file, a retina JPEG, a retina ping file, or also as a transparent background uh, for that image. And so really that's all there is to this. It's very simple to use. It's basically just a matter of you selecting one of the pre-made 
already existing templates or you can create one from scratch if you want and just start adding stuff to it everything's already here for you to make it with uh, and once you have all that done you can go to menu and go to saved graphics and when you're in here you can see here's one of them that I made this is the one that I just made this was one that I had made earlier when I was just messing around with it and if you want to make another thumbnail this one's already here you can just click on it it's going to open it up you can go back to Amazon get a different image to put here and you can change this so if you decide that you want to do something different instead of virtual reality maybe you want to do it on dog kennels you can put the best dog kennels available uh, you know the best dog kennels on Amazon or whatever the best dog kennels 2017 and you can just put a dog kennel here instead of this virtual reality headset and you're ready to go so in a matter of a few seconds you can have a new thumbnail made and you're not dealing with all the headaches of Photoshop opening up taking forever and uh, creating the files and looking for all the images because everything's here so uh, that's my review on this and it's if I haven't mentioned it yet it's called Snappa uh, but that links there on your screen and like I said it's under the video also so if you guys want to check it out if you want to sign up for the free account so you can make yourself some images um, go for it it's, it's a really great tool and in fact I have a feeling that I'll probably be using this more now than I have been with Photoshop